Here's release question number 27 for the Algebra 2 CST questions. And it looks like we've got quite a bit to factor here. And again, uh, like I had said a couple of problems ago, I'm going to treat this as separate problems. Each set of parentheses is like one separate problem, and in the end, I can combine it all together. So let's think about this first. What can I factor out of here? Can I break it down into binomials, or can I factor something out of everything? I always want to try to factor something out of everything first if I can, and I can do that here. So I can factor out a 2x out of both of these terms. I would have to multiply 2x times x to get 2x squared, what I started with. I'd have to multiply 2 times negative 5 to get a negative 10. And I've already got the x here, so I've got the x here is what I meant to say. x times 5, I don't need to put another x, so I shouldn't put another x because I don't have x squared or x cubed. I just have plain old x. And so multiplying this back through gets me exactly what I started with. That's what I want. From here, can you factor something out of 4x and 16? Sure, you can factor out a 4 out of both pieces. You would have x plus 4 left on the inside there. Multiply that back through, you get 4x plus 16. This one, can you break that down if this helps? Great, you can use an idea like that. So we're looking for product of 16, a sum of 8. What two numbers, what two factors of 16 will also add to 8? You'd have to have a 4 and a 4 for that to happen. And so you've got x plus 4 times itself, times x plus 4. And then here, difference of two squares, I see I can do this. I take the square root of both parts. I've got an x plus 5 in one spot. I've got an x minus 5 in the other spot. And just like before, we could extend this fraction bar. Now it's all multiplied together. So it's the tops all multiplied together and the bottoms all multiplied together. Look for the same factors on the top and the bottom. I see an x minus 5 factor right here. That will cancel out with the x minus 5 factor here. I've got an x plus 4 here. That I'll cancel out with one of these, not both of them, but just one of them. And so what do we have left? I've got 2x times 4 on the top. That's 8x. And then on the bottom, I've got x plus 4 times an x plus 5. And it looks like they probably left it in this form. Let's see if that matches up with what I got. Sure does. Number 27 looks like should be choice C.